collection of Vath heals around. This is probably this is a medium matchup. Try to apex Vath this month. How'd it go? I don't own any apexes, but I should probably just craft them at some point because I'm quite keen to try that out. Didn't seem very good. Oh. Did you try a version with like just putting big stuff into play, or did you try um, putting rush minions into play, like elucidators and stuff for an OTK? Hmm. This might actually be useful for affecting early trades. We could cut this instead. We might need this just to help, you know, attack and then kill something. No. Heal Zeran, Flying Vat, and Eight Gates. Oh, I've tried, like... Thank God for that. I've tried... Sort of... Um, someone sent me a hybrid Flying Vat deck a while back that I tried on stream that was Obelisks Plus and as a summoning package. I have lost the one Flying Vat deck that was just, like, all flyers rather than just the, the combo of Skywing and Dragon lock. I just took CD's list and took out his spell jammers. Um, I will have a look at that. Although my first thought is that spell jammer is usually pretty good in combo decks like that. So this is interesting. We can just play our own silver guard, which my opponent can obviously trade with, or we could play a light bender, which they can still trade with. So that doesn't really help very much. We can play a silver guard somewhere safe. If we put it here or even on the mana tile. Um, what can they do with five mana? They can like attack something. Sunforge Lancer heal. So we'd like to not let them do that. Second Herald. I could just take the center. My opponent's able to come down here and trade, but then they don't get the mana tile. Um, I'll leave the Sazer Herald where she is. Actually, no, that's a lie. I'm going to move her up one so that she's more likely to be able to holy immolation stuff. Hello, CD. Um, just felt that I had too many cards to make use of the spell jammer. Oh, fair enough. Circle of Life. In this deck, Circle of Life's very slow. It's an extremely clunky card. Yeah, we're gonna get Lancer. Oh, okay, sure. She's gonna do that and play a Lancer, maybe. Scintilla. Scintilla's not so bad. Um, we have a decent Immolation here. We don't kill this with it, but we clear this and get in for four. We can develop Thunderhorn. It's usually a good option. Um, if I do this, does it just die? I mean, we can make a 6-5 Thunderhorn and just say, you deal with it. She might martyrdom it, though. We can attack, attack, Tempest. Or roar, attack, Tempest. We can play Lightbender. But we can't roar this and get rid of the Silver Guard at that point. Um... We can't as a Herald Immolation yet. This is quite complicated. That works. Might just play this, to be honest. Lightbender and Raw. That sort of works. Like, it just dies with... I mean, my opponent gets to dictate some pretty good trades on it. I'd rather save this for 
Sunforge Lancer or clearing off my opponent's buffs from Sunforge Lancer. Um, I think I'd rather, I prefer like Thunderhorn over there. Um, Sunriser. That is, does that get rid of the Regalia? No. Yes. Damn. And we're one mana off the Immolation. So I think now I just run away and play Thunderhorn. Which is a good Rattlesnake. We can do a Thunderhorn Aegis to, prevent, to play around Martyrdom. What else can I do? Like as a Herald Roar. Man, I totally forgot about Sunriser. That puts my opponent in a very good position. Let's go with this and hope we don't die. Um, that's the easiest replace, I think. So we can do two drop MO next time, which my opponent has to respect. So at least, if nothing else, that can kill the Sunriser. But she probably won't want to bring the Sunriser in because of this. Um, she might dispel this. Yeah. Run away. She might bunch... She might sort of bunch up trying to avoid the Thunderhorn. Or she can run away, which is also fine. Because then we can move around with the Thunderhorn and kind of pick off units one by one. That's a bit awkward. Well, I guess not. If all this stuff stays where it is, we have a great ammo. But I doubt she's going to be that stupid. <laughs> oh! Well then. That is a very interesting question. What do we kill? And how much damage do we expose ourselves to? If I put the Thunderhorn here, it can get killed by three heal triggers. Um, we'll have an Azza Herald here and myself on 23. It's pretty good. We get rid of the source of heal triggers. I think going for the 2 fawn and leaving this alive but kind of slightly out of position is best. We can put the Thunderhorn like here-ish. So that if the Sunriser does come up we can get we get to eat it. Uh, and it can't reach the T-Horn from there so it's kind of forced to back off. So we might take a load of damage from this this time, but this deck has lots of healing, so we can try not last that. And uh, if the Sunrise is hitting me, then the T-Horn's in range to attack it. I 
Like, my opponent basically has to play around this for the rest of the game, because you probably can't get rid of it. Okay, that's fine, because we can try and find an answer for it, or just drop a light bender anyway. There's the Sunforge. And a Sunrise Cleric. So we can, we want a light bender there. So we can do Silver Guard Lightbender or Healing Mystic Lightbender. Um, the Healing Mystic will take two damage from the Sunriser unless we heal something that's already on full health, which is a decent option. Can then roll the Azure Herald and kill the Sunrise Cleric. That's sweet. Okay. Best light bender. Oh yeah. That was good. Can you imagine a slow immolation there though? Holy crap. That was busted. So I've left the light bend uh, the Thunderhorn in range of my opponent, which is potentially a bit risky. But it should be reasonably safe. There's a chance she plays into Tempest here if we draw one of those. Can try and hit one off oath. We have this monotile now. Crap. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's not that bad. We have a small board advantage and a oath of our own. Plus a good removal spell. This game might go on for a while. We're going to have to be careful. We have three more dispels. Uh, and we've already dealt with one Sunforge Lancer. So that's good. We can we can kind of spare a Dispel in the super long game. For, I don't know, I guess another Sunriser if we can't otherwise remove it. I'm guessing she's just going to punch the Healing Mystic. And body block the 3-4 from mine. Oh, she's doing that. Okay, fine. Oh! She's going to Tempest. Sure. That seems reasonable. I can kill this now, so I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but I can also heal this, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, the Scintilla, Scintilla Raw Trinity Oath is such a good play this turn. Puts me back to full. Oh, no, I can't heal this. What am I talking about? I'm, uh... Just make a five power Scintilla. How to heal it? No, I, ju I just did a it stupid. It's all good. Uh, I should draw cards first to maximize my options. Those are some good options. Um, I think this is most replaceable. Because it'll kill my own stuff. Sweet. My opponent's not shown me a Sunbloom yet, so this is likely to stick. Oh, we don't even need the Monotile. Awesome. Do I send this in when my opponent can actually attack it? Got that. Okay. This potentially plays into emulation is the only problem. Um, but that brings my opponent forward and we can start making some attacks. So I'm playing to tree. 
Oh yeah. That's a good point actually. We have a lot of burst damage this turn. If we draw like Regalia and she's attacked this, it doesn't heal for very much when I have lethal. Damn these sunrises. Heh. <laughs> Okay. Well, that seems reasonable, doesn't it? I'm not going to Aegis this because I do actually want it for Zir. Sweet. Sure. Hmm. I could have bought it in that. Just to get some space. Draw cards first and think about it. More zeers. We don't need two zeers for sure. Sun boom. All right. Cool. Could just buff a thunderhorn around the corner. I'm just wondering when the Excelsius is going to be dropped. That's a good point. We should save some removal for that. Yeah, you know what, let's just drop a Thunderhorn. Deal with this. She'll deal with it, but like, you know. If she doesn't have another Trinity Oath in the next couple turns, because she's going to be forced to spend some effort killing this thing, uh, we can just outgrind her. If she plays an Excelsius, that is totally fine. Martyrdom, sure. Two Martyrdoms gone. Oh, Regalia. So it's not usually play Regalia, I thought. Um, it's a bit unfortunate. Let's do... So I can do this, place Scintilla, heal myself, but I should replace something. I could just set this up, but I want it to be somewhere safe. I mean, I have another one, so I could just make like a 7, 12 hex proof and pass the turn. She can't even kill it on board with Holy Immolation. She'd need one more damage. That would run her out of cards fairly hard. I can make it more awkward by putting it here as well, so she has to like move this way and give me the run of the board in order to attack it. She might just dispel it, but then I still have a massive body. Let's go for it. Yeah, we'll ship a Tempest. <laughs> She's looking for the Sun Bloom.
Oh my. Killing me first may or may or may not be a thing she's capable of doing. Although that isn't really how Zero works. She might be trying to set up lethal so she can attack. She wants to kill me next turn. After having dispelled Zer, I assume. So I think now we can martyrdom and play some play some stuff. Um we do need some creatures to fight this regalia with. I could I could eat this and healing mystic instead. That's probably more sensible. And that's me and Zia spread out a bit. So we... Heal Zia. As a herald myself. Scintilla. Raw, let's say this. Sweet. Okay, from 15. It is pretty hard to get rid of. She can go toe to deal with Zir. Potentially make that happen. Oh, I forgot about that card existing. God damn it. Oh, decimate. I was thinking about a Parian's claim. Damn it. I can almost clear the regalia this turn, but not quite. Oh, no, I can, I guess. It's kind of impossible to play around both. That is a fair point. So we can Tempest, Immolation, Attack, Attack. We're massively far behind at that point, though. Like, the Decimate won has won the game. Um, oh, that's so annoying. Decimate in 2017. Like, is it, even, is it even worth? Yeah, it is. Of course it is what we're talking about. And we can try and push with our own regalia afterwards. At least our life totals aren't that far apart, and those are probably the only two she's running. We have this. We have another... Crap. Hello. We actually have to martyrdom this, which is super awkward. No, martyrdom. Yeah, martyrdom. We have to martyrdom this, I think. An arc light and attack. What else can I do? I can try and find Zir. Nightwatcher. Nightwatcher's okay. Like, I can run away and play a buffed Nightwatcher between me and my opponent. She can't quite remove this on board. It still body blocks if she dispels it. Um, 
I guess she can hit it for a bunch of damage kind of for free by healing the scintilla. No, of course, it's for power when we're talking about. They will trade. Is that a sun bloom? Like, if this guy's dispelled, that's not too bad, right? Because that costs a card. Um, I guess she still kills it for free, so... Still pretty awkward. Stop playing proper creatures. It's really awkward. I like this healing mystic, but I think I'm going to replace it looking for something bigger. Like if we draw Trinity Oath or Silver Guard or anything here, that's much better. All that, that's pretty good too. Right. So I'm now obliged to play this. Punch this. Roar up. It's okay. It's my second martyrdom, so if we play that and then she plays Lancer or Excelsius, we're kind of screwed. We need to find a third Trinity Oath or a Zir ASAP. Or we are dead. Man, this has been a really interesting game. I mean, it came down to the um, the decimate, but damn it! At least that doesn't hurt us. Plus, she traded card for card, so we're still at least we're like keeping even, working through her resources. Okay, I'm replacing this. Thank God, we found a zir. Where can I put it that it's somewhere safe? My opponent probably doesn't have second decimate, but... She can get rid of the regalia this way, but only just. I might still be okay if the Zer lives. Do I care if my opponent attacks this? Like, with the amount of resources she currently doesn't have... It might be okay just to use this. Like, I can body block the scintilla to protect my arc light. And my face. Um, I don't know if that's even worth it. To be honest, it probably is. Like, we need to... We need to do more with the Zir. I can afford to buff this once, but no more. I'm going to do it. Because it means that if my opponent's, in, like, in theory of lethal, obviously, my opponent can get this into a... Oh, okay, this is good. This is good. We got a Trinity Oath. Yeah, basically, I can afford to buff this once before the Pure Blade Enforcer is big enough to hit through the Regalia. I can cast one spell. Okay. She's running away. This is very good news. We're going to smack her in the face a bit. It's going <laughs> to very, very slowly kill my opponent. So... The Enforcer sucks a bit here, but I'm going to cast this anyway. I don't think we have lethal, potentially. There's no Divine Bond in the deck. If you buff it, she can get rid of the Regalia. Not quite. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the awkward thing. Buffing it and then drawing Trinity Oath is obviously a bit of a problem. I'm still going to play this because I need to. Um, but... Well, those are answers to, <laughs> to Pure Blade Enforcer, I guess. Let's do this first. Martyrdom, good. Also good. Please go away. So I have to attack with Zir instead. Like... It'll still be on 10 health. That's a lot of damage. And a lot of health. And we have to end this game, like, quickly. Good. <sighs> okay. As long as there's no Trinity Oath on the other side. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. My god, this has been a good game of Duelist. <sighs> we've still got, we've got this for Excelsius. Or a body blocker? Is 
She's healing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we win? If we martyrdom this, she goes to 14. This is 11. or one off. What can I replace into that would be lethal in that circumstance? Second Tempest, I guess. <laughs> um, Tempest first. Why Tempest first? It doesn't kill anything. Lowest health of Scintilla. Oh, I see. Sorry, yeah. Tempest, then Martyrdom. She goes to 12. Well, 10 because of the Tempest. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Thank you, guys. Nailed it. Ha! Amazing. Whew! That was tense. That was bonkers. <laughs> what a game.